What's up guys? I ride 705. Um, I don't know if you saw part one of this video, but this is going to be part two. And uh, what we started doing is we got a project sled here, just bought it. Um, we checked the compression ratio on it because he was running race fuel on it. We want to run regular fuel. It was 14 to 1, which is very high. Um, so we're into recutting the combustion chambers. Whoever cut the combustion chambers before us did a horrible job. Here it is here, a high bit of setup in the lathe. Um, they increased the diameter of this to uh, accommodate the 700cc cylinders. And this area is flat, so we're going to recut this. I'm also going to increase the squish band by another 5 10 thou. Um, I already cut one. That's what it looks like there. And once we're all done this, then I'm going to write a program to start shaving away at this. And I'm going to take it out, measure a few times as we go, because I don't want to take out too much material. And uh, I'm going to CC the head, or the, um, the combustion chamber, and um, you know, take it nice and easy and get where I want. But uh, as you can tell, it's been whacked here before, where it blew up, and uh, they never cleaned that surface up. So I think with, uh, with what we're going to do here, we're going to get rid of most of that. So here we go. Cross our fingers. Hope for the best. I'll try to keep this open here. You can see. Might get a little bit splashed. Um, make sure this thing's recording. All right. And start. I got the uh, rapid off right now, so it's moving kind of slow, but that's, uh, that's okay. That coolant on. There you go, it's cutting away. I'm just gonna pulse the coolant a little bit so you can see what it's doing. That's it, that's all. All right, little lights on. That's beautiful, beautiful. So there we go. Um, I don't have my verniers here, but uh, if I check this lip to this lip, it'll be exactly 30 thou. Because it's a CNC and it repeats really well, and I don't really need to measure every single one I do. So now, I'm going to uh, write up a program, start cutting at this, start CCing it as I go, make sure that I don't go oversized. I'm going to take my time with that. Once I got the program good for one, I'll just slap the other one in there, press go, and, uh, and call it a day. So guys, um, I don't know if I'm going to get that other portion done today. Uh, I don't even know what time it is right now. My my clock's been at 12 o'clock for a long time now, so it's uh, I don't know. It's probably two, three o'clock. Um, I have some stuff going on tonight, so I can't work late. So, anyways, I'll uh, cut back in, show you guys uh, when we're all set up and cutting the other side of this. Show you what we're doing a little bit, and then we're going to reassemble this thing, pull the cord, and hopefully it starts. Um, another little thing I did today, which people might hate me for. But I took all of these off the track. It's got an inch and three quarter lug on this thing and uh, two inch studs on it. I hate studs. Um, I had a couple pull throughs already. That track is like brand new. You can still see the little rubber from the, you know, from being manufactured all over the place, even on this edge here. And uh, you can still see like, there's a little rubber tip. So the, the track's not old at all. And uh, the studs are just horrible on it. They destroy your floor. Every time I move this thing on the floor, it just rips everything up. Um, I can't put it in the box of my truck because I'm gonna destroy the back of my truck as well. So I'm gonna get rid of the studs on this sled. And I'm um, also gonna get rid of the studs on the sled upstairs. That one last year almost took my leg off. I cut through my jeans and into my knee um, because of those studs. I was being an idiot doing donuts and I fell and I, and I caught the edge of the track with my knee. So uh, studs are out. I don't really plan on going on doing any ice riding. I'm going to be uh, on trails and in powder. So, on that note, see you later. Hey guys, I ride 705 here. Well, I went ahead and finished up the domes. Um, I sh showed you guys a video sh cutting just the squish band, and then I went in there and wrote, wrote a program to tr carve away at this. And I did it little by little. Came back to my office, re seed everything, and. Um, we're pretty close to where we want to be. I want it to be at 31.5 cc's and we are at 31.2 cc's. So we're a couple, you know, 0.3 cc's off. Um, did the math on that. That's 12.18 to one compression. So that's going to make it safe for us to run premium pump fuel at the gas station. Probably get away with regular if we really had to, but uh, not going to do that. But uh, 
yeah so good to go on that one i'm not going to put everything back together right now i'm going to wait on that um not much to put back together bolt it down torque it down that's it um but i got a coso egt gauge showing up and it's got a water temp sensor in it so i'm gonna have to cut the head to mount the water temperature sensor in it i'm gonna drill and tap basically so instead of putting everything back together and taking it all back apart i'll be patient i'll wait um hope you guys enjoyed this video it's a little bit different than what i normally do um i say i'm a lot <laughs> just, just trying to put this all together here um don't forget to subscribe if you subscribe, what's going to happen is every time that I make a new video, it's going to automatically email notify notify you that I ride 705 made a new video. And it makes it a lot easier to keep track of everything I come out with. I have a lot more mods coming for the sled. I'm doing a throttle extension on the uh, sled upstairs. I uh, extended the handlebars with um, pro taper bars and a I think a seven inch riser, and it's pulling pretty hard on throttle cable. So I'm gonna gonna do that. I also have some simpler stuff hand guards i'm going to install on the new sled um and I think there's going to be a few more things here and there can't remember them all offhand but um subscribe enjoy and peace